we're here to save the U.S. Postal Service. This is a service that Americans and Oregonians have relied on for, since the birth of our country. For the next 70 days, Oregonians want to know where their elected officials stand. Whose side are they on? U.S. Senator Ron Wyden and Oregon State Senator Shamia Fagan joined dozens of postal workers and rally attendees Saturday at the post office on Southeast 103rd Drive. So what are we asking for? Kevin Carr was a letter carrier for over 25 years. He is now a local leader with the union. We're asking for the same thing that corporate America got months ago. And that is a little hand up to help the Postal Service continue to do what we've done for over 200 years. Organizers say the rallies in response to Postmaster General Louis DeJoy's decision to issue a series of directives leading to the delay of mail ahead of the November election. The group is asking for full funding, no delays, and for DeJoy to resign. Are we asking too much? No! I don't think so. Senator Wyden says the Postal Service provides a lifeline delivering not just letters but also prescription drugs and other items that are especially needed by mail during the pandemic. If we continue to see this reduction in service and reduction in funds, a lot of people are going to get their medicine delayed in the COVID era. That means they're going to get sicker and folks could die. Regarding concerns of fraud when it comes to mail-in voting, Senator Fagan says... There's simply no evidence. We have done it safely, securely, and excessively for over 20 years here in Oregon. It works, and they need to do it, particularly during this pandemic. The call to action at the rally was clear. You can vote. Vote. The group plans to host another Save the Post Office rally next week, Tuesday, at the Southeast 7th Avenue Post Office in Southeast Portland, South Kumwe, KGW News.